What's up, Cancer? Welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. This is your timeless reading. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. If at any time you guys resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Um, any questions you have about me? I uh, want to read client reviews. Uh, you guys sold me out of candles yesterday uh, within a few hours. So I have a few candles left on my site if you guys are interested. The link is in the description box below. Everything is 20% off on my site for the entire season of Taurus since it is my birthday. So you can check that out. The code at checkout is Taurus. All right, so let's get started with my blessing and prayer uh, and take a look and see what messages Holy Spirit has for you, Cancer. All right. <clears throat> Father God, divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for cancer in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding as well as higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses cancer may currently be going through, about to go through, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, in all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <sighs> Cancer, somebody, somebody let something slip through their hands or slip through their fingers, or that's how you feel about somebody letting you go. Like, you know what I mean? Like somebody let something, they lost something or they, they, they gotta go back and look for something. Let's see here, Holy Spirit, messages please for cancer. Star seed, what lights you up? So I feel like lately you've really been trying to connect with who you really are and what you really want out of life. Like you're, you're not just, you know, dilly-dallying. I don't even use that word, but that's the word Spirit is giving me. Um, you're not like dilly-dallying anymore. You're really out here trying to manifest and plan so i see you kind of looking towards what brings you the most joy what aligns with your soul um and your purpose and who you are and then you're trying to find a way to live in that right you want to live in that and you want to manifest that you want to bring that you want to bring that to you <clears throat> let's see here child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you so you're sitting here where, well it looks like you're looking on the outside right that's what the picture looks like i feel like this is really a lot of deep soul searching some of you cancer may have recently realized where you had like you're starting to see the bigger picture and where you may have gotten off track, right? And how you forgot that you are the co-creator, that you can do this with the most high and that everything that you need to know about where you are supposed to go and what you need to do, it's not going to be found out here, right? It's all going to be found in here. Because the other thing that this um, Child of the Cosmos card is making me think of cancer is there's another card. I think it's called Cosmic Devotion. And it's about the sacred time of, of spending inside of your heart space with the Most High and all the answers that, that you will receive in turning your life into a walking prayer. I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. <clears throat> you have Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. And then on the bottom, you have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Okay, so yeah, with leap and break the chain, the reason why you might be struggling right now or really kind of trying to plan everything out is because you're the first to do this. You really want to make a big change. Not very many other people from your family may be taking the risk that you're about to take. Okay? For others of you... Yeah, see, because you got Jupiter and Saturn and each card is coming up. Um, for others of you, this is about a mindset shift. 
you're you're transcending obstacles that have um, been given to you through way of other family members or people in your family in the way that you were raised, right? Your perceptions and beliefs are changing. You're starting to find that there are different ways to approach life. That just because you were taught one way doesn't actually mean that that is the right way for you. You know, um, one like a big thing that we come into realization with when we're awakening is um, certain behavioral problems that have been given to us or handed down throughout generations. Maybe it's yelling a lot. Maybe it's, you know, anxiety, panic attacks. Um, and as you're ascending and stepping out of that mindset, you're seeing things change and you're, you're ready to take a leap. I feel like you're getting ready to surrender to what the divine has in store for you. You're, it's like you're, you're going to let the most high take control. All right, so the current energy of the situation, Cancer, you have Pisces energy with the moon and the number 18, which is nine. You have the nine of swords as the past. You're showing up as the nine of cups. Outside energy is the two of cups. Your challenge is temptation, the devil. And then you have the lovers, or in this deck it's called love as the outcome. Bottom of the deck, you have the eight of swords. Wow, with the star, Aquarius energy, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So you have the eight of swords, the star, the Hierophant, and then you have the Emperor, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and then transformation here with uh, Scorpio energy. Wow, this is some big stuff. It's it's pretty major. Um, again, I do feel like this is life changing and a mindset shift. Okay, I feel like that's the collective of Cancer that I'm. Somebody here is actively aware that they're stepping outside of their comfort zone, that they've been doing the work, that they're wanting to shift and change the trajectory of their life. And by doing so, they had to take a really deep look within themselves, right? Um, because there's something that's been holding you back from transforming for a really long time. This Eight of Swords, it's a repetitive cycle, right? I feel like you can finally see something from a higher perception, Cancer. I feel like you can find, like you may have been praying and praying and praying for guidance because you, you couldn't stand the way something was repetitive. Something just kept, it was the same. Nothing was changing. Nothing was changing. And you needed change or you wanted change. You wanted something different. It's almost like the zest was missing. And so it, this to me is your prayers have been heard, right? You pray something with the star and now it's being dropped down with the eight of swords to break apart that mental conditioning, that mental jail, that mental slavery that was keeping you in a cycle or a way of life that has been depleting, okay? Because you have the Hierophant and the Emperor. I feel like this is about taking a higher, a higher control, like a higher perception, like you stepping in and calling the shots on what is allowed to enter into your sacred space. But you're definitely taking control here on something that's that you've been holding on to for a really, really long time. So yeah, that's interesting because in this Four of Pentacles, she's released everything and she's opening her heart and typically in the four of pentacles it's closed off so again and then it's right next to transformation so there's something that you're releasing here something that you're releasing because you want to experience something different but you there was all of this conditioning 
that had been put in place prior, right? Even as a child, all of this mental conditioning that was setting you up for failure, keeping you stuck in a way of life that was no longer suitable for you, Cancer. All right, you have moon as the current energy. So again, this is deep diving. <clears throat> Looking at the shadows at the darkness of oneself. These are deep in emotions here. Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, trying to find some sort of emotional stability. But I also feel like there was a, a sense of being overwhelmed. Yeah, strength. Because you're going through all of these different situations and scenarios, beliefs, perceptions, whatever, as you're healing. And you're trying to cut out the ones that uh, hold no weight. Right? And it's funny because... Really, when we're speaking spiritually, you, you're going to look for the cups filled with light. <laughs> but you want to get rid of the ones that, 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 that hold no weight, that hold no positive weight in your life, I should say. Your challenge is the nine of swords. You're afraid to fly free. I, it's, it's fear of you don't think you can do it. Yeah, the five of wands. Why? There's so much conflict. Uh, the devil. That's why. And then you have justice here. So there's a lot of karma. Or you could be dealing with the karmic here. This is like self-worth problems as well. There's this, this devil is trying to prevent you from reaching that, that balance. See how there's a feather in the heart on here? We're talking about weight and light. Here it is. And what's happening is every time you try to fly, every time you try to go forward or take a step forward, this devil comes along, temptation comes along and creates conflict between your destiny and the truth of who you are and, and what the world is presenting in front of you and what's around you. <clears throat> The hardest thing about ascension is you truly have to remove yourself from worldly beliefs and what others are thinking and saying about you or your choices or where you're going, Cancer. It's why it's so important to form a connection with God and get to know who he is, the Most High. Because as you begin to work with him, because I've been on both sides of the fence and I've, I've, you know, and as you begin to work with him, you do end up coming out of the darkness. You do end up releasing fear. You do end up learning how to not give in to temptation. Even if you think that you don't have all of these answers within you, I didn't think I did either, but you do, you know? Um, and it creates balance. But the, the thing is, this temptation energy keeps coming around you because it feels like it, it has to do with self-worth and it's trying to make you feel like it's not going to work. There may have been some conflict between you and another person as well. All right, your current energy is the nine of cups. It's interesting though, because it's this mermaid in this picture, she's underwater. So it's like you're in a lot of emotions here and you want something. But, but it's like she's still longing for something. Okay, so there's a wish, there's a hope that you want to be fulfilled. Clarify this Nine of Cups. King of Swords, wow, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. And Judgment, Three of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. So you may want to go towards somebody, you may want to work with somebody. There is some type of idea. Some of you may have a new business idea that you're trying to manifest or create here, Cancer, okay? Especially with Judgment, Ten of Pentacles. Some type of money could be coming your way or there's like, you could even be going back to an old idea, like an idea that you've had before or an old job. What comes in with Judgment, please? Help clarify this Judgment, what comes in with this? Because there's definitely a conversation and a truth about a city. Yeah, you're gonna have to make a decision here. Two of Wands. You're going to have to make a decision in regards to what direction you want to go because this crossroads that you're at, Cancer, 
You either move forward and break free and you can't bring some of this stuff from the past with you or you stay where you are and, and go through another bout of lessons is, is what it looks like. That's the light bulb that goes off. Outside energy around you is a two of cups. There, there's a love connection here. There's a soulmate connection here. Something that's going to bring you a lot of um, abundance. It's somebody who's aligned with you that wants the same thing that you want. Yeah, six of pentacles, alignment, balance. Why is there sadness between you guys though? Five of cups, the tower, the hierophant, three of pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Taurus because you've had that energy. It's down here too. Um, there's this outside energy where something in the foundation between the two of you may be broken right with this five of cups in the tower there's like a crack in the foundation but it's not anything that can't be worked out with this um six of pentacles i almost feel like the cracks in the foundations are so similar and neither one of you know it Especially with this Hierophant card. Like somebody wants to come in. They want to work on something with you. They feel like they could build something with you. A commitment. Yeah. Let me see. What comes in with this tower, please? For the other person's energy towards Cancer. What is this tower going to bring in? Two cards. Wow. The lovers and the six of wands. There's this outside energy, a soulmate energy who I feel wants a next level with you. They want to level up. They want to work on this. They want a victory. You have the seven of swords, the nine of pentacles, the four of pentacles, and the wheel of fortune. So you guys may have went through some karma together. Okay. Um, there may have been some some times in the past that were difficult but there's still this energy of wanting to work on it like i said there's a crack in the foundation but at the heart of the matter it doesn't look like the emotions have changed at all but the devil is showing to be the challenge between the two of you it's really in how you release and break these chains whatever stronghold this temptation has Clarify temptation. Why is this here as a challenge? Page of Cups. Somebody may not have been very serious. Four of Wands. They weren't investing the way they were. They had a very childish, immature way of viewing relationships or what a committed relationship was or how to build a strong foundation. Yeah, the Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups. Wow. I feel like there's growth here, like someone's trying to grow, but that's also the, the struggle, the challenge, because you have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. I also, this is so weird. This is very, this might just be a specific message for someone that happens sometimes um, for regular viewers, but it's like there's two, the challenge is there's two offers here or two yeah two different directions that you can go both of them bring you happiness but there is a difference in maturity for sure between one person and the other clarify that could be the challenge maybe that's the thing is somebody here has an issue with with commitment that's why there's more than one yeah, you have the seven of pentacles being patient, waiting for something to grow in. It's like somebody wants what they want now. And so this patience while a, a relationship grows or while something builds is too much. So everything is on pause right now. Nothing's happening. The outcome is love, which is the lover's. Knight of Swords. 
So communication coming in. What comes in with this Knight of Swords, please? The Eight of Wands. So some of you guys may be at a distance, but there's definite either talking in person or somebody sending you some type of message here. The High Priestess. They're going to be clearing the air or revealing something that you've been unaware of. Yeah, the Star, the Ten of Swords, the World. Somebody wants to talk about an ending or talk about why something ended or what's been going on as as a, as as far as working on something or a betrayal. You have the Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles here. There's an offer coming in. What comes in, please, with this High Priestess? What is this High Priestess hiding? What what is this High Priestess hiding, please? What is this High Priestess hiding? The Ten of Swords. Cancer, somebody feels betrayed here. Somebody feels betrayed and they're angry or they want to talk to you about something. This Knight of Swords. Yeah, Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Somebody's really, really hurt. And I also feel like there's somebody here, again, with the Eight of Swords, they can't let go. There's like an obsession here. There's an obsession here. The world and the hermit and temperance. So if you haven't been talking to this person, cancer is driving them nuts. Somebody may feel stuck and trapped in a connection while one person is trying to break free. But whoever this other person is, the fear of you really, of it really being over. There's a lot of drama going on right now in a connection. That's, or, and if it hasn't happened yet, it's about to, because you've got the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords. It's a lot of rushing, and I don't feel like you're, I don't think you expect this or know that this is coming in. There's definitely something here, though, that's done, that's over, this High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, but it's, somebody can't handle the fact that it's over. It's the Two of Cups, it's this other person. All right, Cancer, I'm sending you much love.